Hello Libra, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to another reading. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, so thank you guys so much for the views. I really appreciate it. Um, so I said today, you know what? Let me go ahead and do a bonus reading for the Libra. Let's show my Libra some love, okay? <laughs> All right, so Libra, keep in mind, this could be... Um, what the hell am I talking about, guys? I should have had some coffee this morning. All right, so um, this is a general reading. So take what makes sense for you and leave the rest, okay? If you are watching this for a Libra, then this could be playing out from your perspective, making any general tarot reading uh, reversible, interchangeable at any given point, okay? All right, this is for you, Libra, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What is coming towards Libra and love? What is coming towards Libra and love? So Libra, you got feels right, feels so right when Libra's body's laying next to mine, okay? Um, feels right. So let's see. I haven't pulled that card in a minute. And then you have thinking of you. So whoever this is, I mean, they got you on their mind. God, I bet. We know with an Aquarius, Aquarius did pull this uh, kind of energy here. And then you have reminisce reminiscence okay so this person's probably reminiscing about you a lot libra they're thinking about you okay some of them if they know that you like a, a certain type of fragrance or flower or something okay they may be thinking about that i feel like someone has like some romantic intentions on their mind right now this could be involving because the freak feels like they gotta apologize to you because now they know that no one compares to you all right cool <clears throat> don't you ever under, un, underestimate the damn Libra, okay? Um, we will be pulling these channel messages, so please stay tuned. Libra, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Tell us more. Tell us more for Libra, please. Tell us more. Overall energy for swords for some of you in relationships, okay? Maybe you guys are not talking right now. There's a separation um, and all they're doing. Either way, whoever this person is, you know, they're just thinking about you crazy, okay? Crazily. You're on their mind. All they do is lay down and think about you, okay? All right. <laughs> what is coming towards Libra and love spirit? Tell us more for Libra and love. Tell us more for Libra and love. Okay, so you have the Two of Cups, the King of Cups reverse. You may be dealing with someone who's drinking quite a bit um, when they think about you. Okay, they're trying to drown out their feelings or something like that. You may have been dealing with someone who's a bit emotionally unavailable. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. What is coming towards Libra and love? What is coming towards Libra and love, angels? Libra. This damn King of Wands keeps showing up in everyone's reading. What is coming towards Libra and love? Libra. Um, you could be dealing with a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What is coming towards Libra and love? What is coming towards Libra and love spirit? Libra. Okay. Ten of Cups. Three of Cups. What is coming towards Libra and love? Some of you may be dating somebody else right now, or you will be. Let me get one more for Libra and love. What is coming to Libra and love? Libra. What is coming? <sighs> Seven of Swords. Okay. I kind of get two energies here, but you know, I mean, you would know if you're dealing with two people or one person. Okay. So let's talk about the first situation if you're dealing with two people i can obviously see you dating someone right now three of cups maybe this is long distance okay um and you know you're getting to know someone else and maybe someone from the past that's emotionally unavailable obviously they still have you on their mind quite a bit but some of you may have really just kind of blocked this person or you're keeping this person at arm's length okay or they're keeping you at arm's length for some of you, there could be a third party, okay? So if you're in a third party, that could be why this person is keeping their distance from you, Libra, okay? There could definitely be a love triangle going on. Three of Cups, Three of Wands, Seven of Swords. So it's like, okay, well, you can have whatever feelings you want for me, but at the same time, you know, I don't want to be a part of your third party crap, okay? Um, so that's what I'm feeling right now, Libra. So, yeah, there could definitely be distance here. 
What is the King of Cups reverse for Libra in love? What is the King of Cups reverse for Libra in love? High Priestess reverse, Queen of Wands reverse, King of Wands, golly. Okay, so Libra, you may be dealing with someone who feels like they're not good enough for you. I mean, you got the King and the Queen of Wands reversed here. Um, so there's definitely some kind of issue with their esteem or their confidence, and this could be why they, they have not approached you yet. Okay. For some of you, I'm this person only gets bold when they drink or some crap like that. What is the King of Wands for Libra, please, in love? What is the King of Wands? for Libra and the King of Wands. Three of Swords, Queen of Cups Reverse, and the Sun. He'll be a Cancer. This King of Wands here may be afraid of getting hurt, okay, um, in this situation, especially if there is a third party, okay? But if it's not a third party, I feel like this person may still have some emotional problems or something like that. So as much as they want you, they this is probably why they stay away because, I mean... I just feel like you're really dealing with someone who has some issues here, okay? Maybe this person knows that you have somebody else, okay? Some of you could even be, like, you know, married in a relationship or something like that, and they know you're with someone else, and they can't help but still want you and stuff. It's kind of driving this, it's slowly driving this person in, insane, okay? I'm going down. What is the eight of coins for Libra? Emperor flew out. Could be an Aries, Eight of Cups, and the Page of Wands reverse. So I mean, this person's been kind of focusing on their work more as well, okay? But at the center of your reading is a Ten of Cups. So someone's really feeling as though you are their Ten of Cups, okay? No matter how things seem right now. What is the Seven of Swords for Libra in love? I feel like someone's kind of fronting Libra. Um, they're fronting. I also feel like this person's even jealous, too. They're jealous. They're fronting. <laughs> what is the three of wands for Libra in love? Some of you may be waiting on someone in particular. What is the eight of wands for Libra? Yeah, so some of you, you may be dealing with someone who who basically in the past, they weren't ready for a relationship, okay? Um, they're just emotionally unavailable. And when you're emotionally unavailable, what are you going to do? More than likely, you're either going to be a player, okay? You're not going to be, you're going to be afraid of commitment, okay? You're going to be flaky, whatever. So that's kind of what I feel with this person. But at the same time, they, they feel like you're their happily ever after. Um, maybe they hurt you in the past, okay, disappointed you because of this, but I get this energy of this freak still wanting to, like, shoot their shot with you, and I feel like they will try to shoot their shot, okay, whether you're involved now or what, or whatever is going on, I, I kind of feel like someone's going to try it. Um, this freak may have taken you for granted or something like that, okay, point blank, period, but they know no one compares to you. Anniversary. All right. If you're in a third party, Libra, this freak could be staying away from you because of that alone, okay? Um, they do feel like you're their happy ever after, but at the same time, they're just not going to, you know, take any action, make any moves because you are you may still be in a third party, okay? Or if they're in a third party, I don't want to keep repeating the same crap, so all right. <laughs> so let's see, Libra, what this person wants to say to you. Um, keep in mind, this freak may definitely be drinking a lot when it comes to you, smoking, okay? I don't know, I just feel like this person tries to just basically uh, see as soon as I cut the deck, can I come over and meaningless hookup? So maybe even this person was even casual in the past, okay? And they already, they caught feelings. They try to act like they don't, but they've caught feelings. So you were dealing with like an emotionally unavailable player. But at the same time with the meaningless hookup, this person could be hooking up, you know, with people and stuff, but they still feel like no one compares to you. They still want you. Hmm. They try to ignore you, but at the same time, they really want to see you, talk to you. Oof. Meaningless hookup fell out into my hand again. So they say you intimidate me. Libra, what does this person want to tell Libra? 
What does this person want to tell Libra? So with the Ten of Cups, okay, that's what I feel like feels right is about, okay? I want to take you on a trip. Engagement coming. Some of you, maybe you will be getting engaged, okay? Maybe the person you're currently with maybe think about engaging you. Maybe they're, they may be thinking about coming back and engaging you because they see you as their um, happily ever after. But, you know, like I said, they've been trying to ignore you. They can't hold back anymore. What does this person want to tell Libra? What does this person want to tell Libra? Wow, Libra. Maybe they had trust issues or you didn't trust this person in the past, okay? But it's interesting because look at reminiscence. There's a ring here. So some of y'all wouldn't even be surprised if this freak comes back with a ring, okay? Because they've been all around the world, <laughs> okay? They've, you know, they basically know that no one compares to the Libra at this point, okay? They had to learn the hard way. Kind of picking up on Virgo vibes. Long distance. They say it was never you, it was me. I'm planning to ask you out. So don't, like I said, King of Wands is someone who definitely will pursue you to no ends because they, they want you so bad. Um, so this freak is going to try to take you out on a date or ask you out, do something with you, Libra. Trust issues could be dealing with a Taurus. Taurus did pull that kind of energy this week. And I want to get back together. What else does this person want to tell Libra, please? What else? Maybe there was a family friend influence. What does this person want to tell Libra? Libra. What does this person want to tell Libra? Libra. So they want to know, what can I do to win you back? That's what they want. Let's make love. <laughs> You're special to me, Libra. Out of everybody that they probably hook up with or some crap like that, they're, they're, they're realizing that, you know, you're the one that they really had that connection with. I'm not ready to change. So in the past, that's what their deal was. I really do feel like you were dealing with an emotionally unavailable player, Libra. Point blank, period. <clears throat> Libra. Divine Feminine could be your twin flame. I want a family with you. Maybe they have mommy, daddy issues, but at the same time, they have so much regret. Libra. They try to be like you, so maybe the third party tries to be like you. They cry over you, whether you know that or believe that or not. This freak is abusing drugs and alcohol, just thinking about you. I'm telling you, I knew it. I watch, I watch your social media, and you own my heart and my soul. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. There you got it. I'm, I keep hearing I am who I am religious factors <laughs> what the freak is that i am who i am see this freak is willing to change their ways for you hmm i think they played themselves out of a good person libra and they're really they're realizing that and now they're like you better not be seeing anyone this freak is jealous okay and then i'm gonna take a risk so they're gonna take a risk they haven't forgot about you they haven't been able to stop thinking about you and they want you to come back to them. But if you don't, this freak is going to um, come back to you. They may be afraid of you hurting them. In the past, they probably just wanted your body, okay? But, I mean, this freak fell in love. But the problem is falling in love with, you know. Uh, the problem is when you're emotionally unavailable, I mean, everything goes hand in hand, you know. You're going to be a player. You're not going to want to settle down. You know, you're going to be reckless, whatever. But... Get ready, Libra, because I do feel like, you know, this freak is definitely going to try to ask you out or do something with you very soon, okay? Point blank, period. Some of you, they may they may call you or something when, you're, when they're drunk or something. <laughs> Are you drunk right now? <laughs> um, or they may even show up at your house, Libra. Eight of Wands is here. I mean, anything goes with that, okay? But... I don't know. If you're wondering if you should give this person another chance, it depends. If this person is in a third party, I probably would not. I do think they really do love you, but I mean, you got to get rid of the third party, right? Okay. But if there is really no third party around and they're just emotionally unavailable, I feel like they're going definitely going to try here um, because they do have genuine and pure intention. Ten of Cups is at the heart of the reading. So this is someone who definitely does want a future with you. They see that future with you. Um, so yeah, that's what I feel. Anyways, that is what I have for you, Libra. Thank you for tuning in. Love you guys. Talk again soon.